everyone, Katarina here. Welcome back to my Christmas card series. Today I have for you card number three. I will be using here the Winter in the Park stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I will be creating a snowy night sky using watercolors and texture paste with a stencil. And I must say the card turned up exactly how I want it. So let's get started. First I started with the background, I attached a cold pressed watercolor cardstock on top of a board using a washi tape, this helps with the warping, this is actually a lighter cardstock, I usually use cardstock that is 300 gsm which is 140 pounds, this one is 190 gsm which is 119 pounds. Of course it's better to use heavier cardstock when you are doing watercoloring, but for this project it worked well. I use the Kuretake Gonzai Tambi watercolors. I use the black color number 20 and dark blue color number 67. First I applied clean water across the cardstock and then I used a round brush. I wanted sort of an ombre effect. I applied the black at the top and then I went with the blue, mixing it with the black on the top and towards the bottom I left it to fade away. I actually was a little bit surprised how much water this cardstock took in. Because I wanted to add a second layer of the watercolors to make it a little bit darker and bolder, I used my heat gun to dry it a little bit. And then I colored the second layer the same way as the first layer. First I started with the black and then I mixed the dark blue color, gradually fading it towards the bottom. I let it air dry and then I stamped the bench and the lamp. I used my mini misty because I knew I will be restamping and I actually restamped three times. I used the Versafine ink in Onyx Black, which is very nice black ink. I let the ink dry for a few minutes and then I brought in the black watercolor paint to paint a hill. I first carefully draw the line where I want the hill to go and then I painted it in. Then I thought it was a little bit too black. I wanted the stamping to be visible even on the black hill. So I cleaned my brush and also sucked up the color with a kitchen paper. I let it dry. And then I used the stitched rectangular die from Create a Smile to die cut the panel. To create the snow, I used the texture paste from Ranger and the falling snow stencil from Simon's Stamp. I bought this stencil a few years ago, which was the last time I shopped at Simon's Stamp. I will include other stencils in the supply list so you have other options as well. I put the stencil on top of the watercolor panel. I covered the bench with a washi so I don't apply the texture paste where I don't want it. And then I used my palette knife to spread the texture paste around. After I was happy with the look, I carefully removed the stencil. If there is a texture paste sticking out, you can use the palette knife to smooth it out. Next, I sprinkled an embossing powder over the texture paste. I used here the clear sparkle embossing powder from WOW. You don't really need an embossing powder in this case, but I wanted it to have a little bit of sparkle. Then I took the stencil and washed it in the sink. This is very important because once the texture paste is dry, you probably will not be able to get it off and this way you might ruin your stencil. After I washed the stencil, I returned and heat embossed the powder. Next, I worked on the sentiment. I used the season greetings sentiment that is in the stamp set and heat embossed it with a white embossing powder from WOW. I attached a double-sided adhesive on the back of the watercolor panel and I adhered it on top of a white top folding card base. And lastly, I used a foam adhesive and attached the sentiment on top of the panel. I actually made one card before. I accidentally picked up the purple color instead of the blue. And I think it looks good as well. But in this case, I just prefer the blue background. Anyways, I hope you like this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and hop over to my blog for more inspiration. All the links you can find in the description of this video. On the screen right now, you can see on the left card number three from last year's series. And on the right side is another take on the night sky and falling snow, which is also from last year's series. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!